Hello, everybody. How you doing? Don't let the music excite you. We're not playing Rings of Power today. No? We're playing more Breath of Fire. And it's going to be good. I think we're going to beat it today. Uh, and as the person who chooses when I end the stream, unless something terrible happens, um, pretty sure you can bet on that one. So, <clears throat> hopefully everyone out there in Twitchtopia is doing well. Um, I am. I missed Thursday. Wasn't really having a bad day, per se. Just a very crazy day. And, um, you know, Calrea, Calrea, if you're on the Discord, you know Calrea got some really good news. So, we uh, can't say we went out and celebrated, because we're filthy poor bastards but we did um we did at least spend spend the evening in the same room together watching tv so <coughs> anyway enough of that mess oh look at that they, they both look so good how do i choose <clears throat> yeah so we're we're over leveled compared to where we were the last time we played this because we've still got a good four or five hours and we're already at where we were when we beat it last time so but we had just made it here we did our little our grand tour we got all of our treasures that we could get to and now we got to go check out the uh sky tower um i don't think they call it that in this one but it's the sky tower if you're if you're a veteran of breath of fire too um it's kind of depressing if you think about it. This whole place is going to be underwater in 500 years. Um, how do I play this game? Why are you here? Wait. Um, so we're going to go to the Sky Tower. i to get the Sky Key. Got to uh, go through like one of the worst parts of the entire game. Part of the reason I split it up the way I did was because I didn't want to have to do Mogu's Dream and Moat's Dream in the same uh, session. But, yeah, two keys away. Sky key. Well, technically, they tell us two keys away, but we're going to see a mysterious third key that nobody ever really wants to talk about. But uh, Sky key and Time key are waiting for us. You can't tell I just woke up. Huh? It's the only explanation I can give for that rambling mess of a, <laughs> of a dialogue. <clears throat> and this is Breath of Fire! This is pretty much the point we get to where I just start Marvel 3 all the way through because you start ending up with stuff like these guys that can just like kill you in, you know, in a single round. They can just kill your party. Um, depending on how they split up their spells and stuff. <laughs> so, welcome in, Vidoo! Although, actually, I lie. These guys can't kill my entire party because uh, Ryu is wearing the Earth Room, which means he's immune to their magic spells. Case in point. <laughs> oh, no go Zoom today! Yeah, I'm already at full health, but that tried to heal me. <laughs> yeah, the only only way only right way Ryu can die is a. I don't even think I don't even I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm not even sure if like an instant kill spell will affect him. Uh, he might just he might just be immune to those as well. But I'm pretty sure the only way that Ryu can die at this point is they just have to beat the hell out of him, and, which would require me to, like, actively choose not to, uh, heal myself. Because it would take several rounds with his, with his stats. So. How you doing, Vidoo? I hope things are going well on your side of the planet. On the dark side of the planet. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, and it's officially getting to be winter here. Um, it's been, like, in the 50s all, 50s Fahrenheit all, uh, all week and it's going to continue to drop look at how much hp this thing has 
Oh, seizure. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that. But Ryu was... Oh, Jesus. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to have to not fight those guys. That's bad even for me. Oh, jeez. Good God. What were we saying before that uh, in, in 1990s Japan, they didn't believe in epilepsy? <laughs> like, that's a myth. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> God. Next, you're going to be telling me peanut butter allergies are a thing. Get out of here with that crap. kill this thing jeez it's got it's got more hp than some of the bosses we've been fighting lately oh that's unfortunate for you boom <laughs> oh. oh that hurt my eyes that was bad So, just on the force of what just happened to my face. Oh, I don't have a lot of marbles, though. Never, Joey. Never. The answer is never. I can only imagine that the rights situation is probably a big part of Breath of Fire. Um, I don't, I don't pretend to be, I don't pretend to be a lawyer, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn one time, and, um, I can only imagine that with this game being released, it was, the first game was done by Square, it was Capcom, developed by Capcom, published by Square, the second game was developed and published by, by Capcom, both of those were on a Nintendo system, and then 3 and 4 were done by Capcom, released on a Sony system. And then the 5th one was done by Capcom on another Sony system. Like, I wonder if the reason we don't see it is because the, is because the rights, like, the way, the way the rights to the games work are so weird and muddled at this point that people just don't want to screw with it anymore, you know? Because... The, kind of the whole point of Breath of Fire is like the continuity of, of like, call, I don't want to say continuity, but like callbacks to previous games and like an ongoing story that involves multiple generations and things that happen in one game are kind of reflected in a. And I, st I, I wonder if it's not just a matter of like Nintendo and Sony can't agree to let the franchise do its thing, you know? Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened with um, Earthbound, right? Like, that was part of the issues with Earthbound, was that Earthbound, the rights for it are all jacked up because, like, or was it Earthbound? Goldeneye. I think maybe it was Golden. It was some game that came out when I was a kid, and I remember hearing, like, the whole reason they were never going to make another one, never going to remake it, was because of all the issues with the rights involving, like, which one of these is better? I don't know. Either way. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Hope you're doing well, Joey. That's much better. <laughs> well, damn. So I guess Mogu's wearing the flame armor because he's the only one. These guys can all wear the world armor, I think. They're basically the same quality. Oh, there's gonna be ox. There we go. It's like, I know someone can wear this. Damn. <laughs> so I did find out that <coughs> apparently, like, you should unfuse Karn and refuse him every so often to reset his stats. Because, like, if you, if you fuse at level 20 and then he never gets knocked out and you play all the way to level 30, his stats won't get better. Um, so for it to do the calculation for your stats, you actually need to redo 
um, redo the fusion every so often. Maybe the problem is that Capcom doesn't play well with others. Maybe that's why they make so many fighting games, right? It's a reflection of the inner turmoil that they experience every day. So in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm cheating because this, this tower is like eight floors of giant flat squares and the staircase is in a different place on each um, floor. I am. I'm honestly thinking I should have gone, I should have gone and got more marbles, marble threes because, um, we get to the end of this tower, it's gonna suck if we don't have anything. Also, as you go up in floors, the monsters change and get more and more ridiculous. So. I don't know. Maybe I should bail. I think I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna bail and get more Marvel 3s. See, cause you're like, am I even moving right now? <laughs> What's happening? I think there's supposed to be holes up along the top. Hopefully there's on this floor. Yes, okay. Alright. Sorry guys. A, a tiny a tiny detour before we uh, before we wander into hell. <clears throat> I really don't want to get into the back end of Moat's dream world and be fighting those blaze monsters every 20 steps. <sighs> so what do we need? 8, 8, 17. You laugh, Badoof, but you wouldn't want to do it either. And then we'll do another another set for good luck. There we go. Yeah, and I bet you hated this part of the game. Or, or did you get... I can't remember. Was this the... Were you the one that was saying you hadn't made it this far? Cause you, oh, yeah, because you, you didn't get past the... Um, or you got stuck in Aria, right? That's right. So you never had to experience the horror that, that is Moat's dream world. Stick around, my friend. You're going to... This is This is like the worst part of the entire game. Yeah. all that useless crap we picked up in the dungeon. Oh, what the Rawr! But yeah, Zubats are Zubats are wholesome and and loving though. This is bad. I already know this isn't an upgrade. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because I can't. Okay. Ow. A Gaia mask? No. You got a shiny Zubat? You know, an interesting thing. This is... I, the only shinies I ever got until I made it to, like, the Switch games when they were easier to get... 
The only shinies I ever got was, um... I got a shiny Scyther in the bug catching contest on, um... Pokemon Gold... Was it either Gold or Silver? Whichever one the Scyther spawns on um, in the bug catching contest. I got a shiny Scyther, but I was playing on a Game Boy Pocket, which didn't have colors, so I didn't even know what it looked like. Like, I didn't... I, I had no I had no understanding of why there was like this weird flash every time every time I sent out my Scyther. So I never used it because I was worried there was something wrong with it, like that it was glitched or something. And then when I got to the like Ruby Sapphire Emerald games, I would always spend so much time in the bug forest with um what's her name? Cheryl, the green haired girl. I would I think those were the ones. Or was it Diamond and Pearl? Anyway, the one the ones where you get the helper, the 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 green haired girl that helps you um, through the through the forest and she heals you after every fight. I would spend so much time leveling in there, just going, that I got I got a shiny member of the Beautifly line like three different playthroughs in that game because the whole thing is like you're the longer you go, the more, the better your chances get. Yeah. Um, so I actually had like three different shiny beautiflies in different playthroughs. And I was like, oh goody, a, sh a shiny of the most ass Pokemon on my team. Woo. Forgot to use my marble. All right, guys. Let's just get through this. Can I? Can I silence him? Never tried to silence a monster before. That stops him from his bullcrap. You know it's serious when you're using dragon forms to kill standard monsters in the dungeon. <laughs> oh, cover your eyes. I'm actually doing more damage to him with my counter spells than he's doing to me with the with the cast. That's kind of weird. I wonder if that's because it's an AOE spell that's only being that's only hitting one target. I think like we've had this conversation before. Well, that's because the enemy doesn't have uh, doesn't have a um, eyelid. This is <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kill Nina and I don't even care. I just wanna get this fight over. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the sound, it's so heavy. She just thuds to the ground. <laughs> God. <clears throat> That's hilarious. This is an absolute like, okay. Say whatever you want about skipping skipping um skipping uh fights with marbles or whatever. This is a ludicrous enemy to have to fight in um as just a random encounter like that those things will just keep popping up that's that is crazy they definitely expected you to be using marbles by now come on <laughs> there is no way they didn't expect you to be using marbles when they're throwing out monsters that can do that shit
You will not convince me otherwise. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you see how much damage that thing does, and you see how much damage it takes to kill, and you have to realize that at this point in the game, Karn's current form is the best you're going to do in terms of damage, and he's doing 400 damage. The cap is 999 for damage. So, even if you were 60 levels higher, if you were like level 99, the most you could possibly do is 999 damage per hit with Karn. Ryu is never going to get to 999 damage in a regular hit. And then you've got Blue, who does magic, and magic always does a set amount of damage. So her level will be irrelevant to the damage output. Nina has no damage output, and Mogu will die if you put him in that fight, because he doesn't have, he has no hit points. Um, so even if you just go balls to the wall with your whole party being level 99, that's a two to three round fight no matter what. And he's gonna be cast in blaze every si or blast almost every single turn. Like <laughs> he just has too many hit points. He's got he's got too many hit points. I also think it's I, I started to say it earlier, but I think it's interesting that you fight Blaze X, but I don't think we've seen a Blaze yet. Unless we're talking about the spell, because Blaze is a spell. So maybe that's what they're saying. It's like it's the spell that the flame rapier casts, but it's come to life and is now more powerful than ever before. I don't know. <clears throat> Alright. So this is down here. And on the lower floor, it's, and it's weird too because the basement is like super high-end monsters. And then the first several floors of the uh, of the actual tower is all really weak enemies that are just a waste of time to fight. And then this one is... Down and right. Yeah, this is just meant to be a time sink stage. This this is this is mean. The way they the way they set this tower up. This is mean. And then they get you get to this point and they get you into this habit of doing circles around the map. And then this one you go straight up to get to the to get to the um, the stairs. <clears throat> Next one is down left. Yeah. <laughs> Someone at Capcom was learning how parallax mapping worked when they made this stage. <laughs> this is weird and disorienting. Yes, it do. Hello, Philip. How you doing? What's up? Um, not quite. We got we got a few hours left, but we are gonna beat it today. We got we got a few hours left. Um, like I don't know, eight or nine more boss fights. Oh, I'm sorry. Ha! You came here expecting to find the key. I beat you to it. And I've prepared a little surprise for you. Hee <laughs> <coughs> 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 hee! 
Moat thrives on our despair. We cannot return to our world unless we defeat him. <clears throat> Tunlan is a town of music, but it's not very happy music. What? This is the world of dreams, controlled by the henchman Moat. I protect the Sky Key. I can only give it to a true hero. Things are different in the world of dreams. I'm sorry, Blue. to the item shop. How can I help you? You can go to hell. Welcome to the end. It's 10 gold per night. Yes. Rawr. Yeah, I'm a variety of What's going on up here? We can only return to our own world if Moat is defeated. His conscience can tell you where he is. When I climbed the spire, Moat was waiting for me at the top. I've been trapped here ever since. go find Moat's conscience who I believe is in the cave over there no encounters in that area? Interesting. Look at that little tail wiggling. <laughs> Look at his little tail wiggling. <clears throat> That's because she's stronger than you. <laughs> she's stronger than you, Philip. It's because you're weak. I'm sorry. I, I I I'm just messing with you. I am sorry that you uh, that you're not feeling well though. Laid out in the bed, all plastered in sweat, gasping for breath, and she's looking down at you. Pathetic. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. There's there's a really good item we need to get in this tower. Um, it's going to be our free AOE magic, which makes blue useless. Um, <clears throat> the trident and i did not I, I i don't know if you guys remember i said i was probably gonna fool around with the uh the flea market stuff a little bit and try to get the um try to get the um the the best items for some of the characters i didn't i lied i never even thought about turning this game on over the past week <laughs> Okay, so those fleas are trouble. They can insta-kill. But so can I, apparently. Ba, ba, ba. 
da, da. Oh, shit. First of the year, y'all are going to roll up looking like that meme of the Corgi with the, or the Shiba Inu with the giant bulked up body. <laughs> Speaking of speaking of Finland, congrats, congrats to all the Finlanders out there. I'm pretty sure I saw something that said that Finland got uh, Finland was voted happiest place to live in the world for the sixth consecutive year. So, meanwhile, America. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, that one flashes too. Everything blue does is seizure inducing. Oh. Alright, so. the jade bow we're gonna get trapped yeah the luck potion traps you but the trident oh that's a get so the trident is a goby weapon and he will never touch it um we are going to use that for probably the rest of the game yeah we're gonna use that for the rest of the game to do free free 95 damage to all enemy spells. Thereby making blue useless. I mean, it's been getting dark at like 435 where where I live. That's just called living in living in winter. <clears throat> Oh god Yes Surely Surely This isn't a balancing issue It's just that I'm under leveled Okay, I just did a, I just did a, uh, what is it, a, a, a gain risk analysis and decided that 400 XP per fight is not worth the danger of instant death and having to use my materials to bring people back after a random, random encounter. Because that's the thing, the 3300, we're splitting that eight ways so we're not even getting a lot of experience points for this it's just and that's that's kind of the slippery slope of breath of fire one like they give you the option to not have fights but the flip side of that is i think they're like well if you don't want to fight stuff just don't and they make the monsters like ludicrously powerful later on yeah the the most experience points you can get in the entire game for a fight is 9,999 for fighting a, a giant slime on the uh, monster island. And that sounds amazing until you realize that each character is only getting like, what, 1,400 experience points or something? Like, <laughs> some really tiny amount. Cursed Hat. Interestingly enough, not cursed. <clears throat> hmm. 
Look at Blue's gear. <laughs> a stick, a suede shield, headgear, and then, like, the best armor in the game for her. <laughs> you heart avocados. Thank you for the sippies, the do. My coffee has grown cold. Just curious, is anybody at all excited for the uh, Fallout series on Amazon Prime that's coming soon? Welcome to my cave. I'm Moat's Conscience. Blah. Please fight Moat while I still have some energy. Pray to the pot. The pot will save. Uh, mine's just, mine's just. I, I'm, I'm a degenerate, so like a lot of times, I'll get up in the morning, like, like when we're going to work or whatever, we'll make coffee, and um, there'll be coffee left in the pot, and like. So, like, for a lot of times on Saturday, because I don't want to make a whole pot of coffee and then be in here for six hours, um, I'll literally just, like, microwave the leftover coffee from the, from yesterday morning. <laughs> okay, so there's a trick to this, y'all. There's, there's a trick to this. The trick is... The trick is... They spin you, and they spin the map, but you're always still facing in the same direction. See? So like if you if you pretend that you are the character, that other bridge is still to your right. So that's that's the trick. Is you just keep going in the direction you were facing. So we need to take the path that's one left of the short path. Also, the way we were facing. Now I have a feeling from the layout of the map that that one on the right is the short one. So I'm gonna go to the curved one. I'll try not to just cheat off the map too much, but if we get lost, I am gonna, oh Lord. Okay, so these link up. We got plenty of marbles, so I don't mind. I don't mind exploring a little bit. <clears throat> and I want to take that other path, the hooked path, I think. So these link. Oh, I got turned around. Huh. To my left. I might be hopelessly lost, y'all. That's new. If we get if we go through an entire stack of marble threes and I'm still not out of this section, then we'll we'll use the map. <laughs> See, this is one I had the player's guide for when I was a kid. Like when I bought the game, I got the player's guide. Oh, this would have been so frustrating. 
I want to go to my right. I think. I'm wrong. Gross. Gross. We've already been here. I think we're backtracking now, guys. I'm so lost. I have no freaking clue where I'm going. This is... This is absolute booty. <laughs> okay, so I came this way. I recognize that. I came this way. Well, I, unfortunately, am not a pro gamer like you, Joey. I'm just some guy in a Hawaiian shirt, hoping for the best. Oh, we already came this way. I'm gonna need to make these a, uh, a channel point redeem. <laughs> <clears throat> I love how like I came into this area and I was like guys I know the trick this is the trick and then i proceeded to get completely lost even though i know the trick like i'm just like oh god <laughs> i know exactly where i'm going nowhere fast okay <laughs> all right i lied i'm not going through a whole stack I'm not going through a whole stack of, uh, whatchamacallits. Okay. Yeah, I absolutely lied. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do this for another 500 steps and just be lost. So I got to figure out where the hell I actually am. So we've got hmm. nice. This isn't even a very big, a very big um, dungeon. Forward, left, forward, left, left, second, right. So if I progress along this path, I think I might see a turn to the left here. Yes. Okay, this is where I need to be going. 
It's actually a very tiny, a very tiny room. It just confuses the shit out of you. Um. No. Can't say I ever did wonder that. And we're gonna see these little pools of color later in the time tower as well. And then, this is tricky, this is tricky. I think this is where what I gotta do. There's supposed to be a hole. There we go. But the hole doesn't. You don't fall in the hole if you've got Karn in the front of your party. So you you have to not have Karn in the lead, or you just wander around forever, being like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> oh, that's dirty, dirty. Okay. I think it's this one. There we go. Foolish outsiders! How dare you come to my world and try to fight me! Oh, oh, oh my. So, the trick to, well, I won't say that. Capcom hates this one simple trick. Um, so the key here is that the more pixelated Moat is, the stronger he is versus magic attacks, and the weaker he is to physical attacks. The, and then, as he takes damage and becomes less pixelated, his stats slowly flip. So you want to try to get into this like, and every time you hit him with a physical attack, he becomes less pixelated. Every time you hit him with magic, he becomes more pixelated. So he's basically adjusting his defenses based on the attacks you're doing. And because you can do a lot more physical damage than magic damage, you want to kind of get him into that sweet spot and then just keep him there by using magic attacks to like re-pixelate him, if that makes sense. <clears throat> He's also taking, he's he, like, you can't kill him in this part. This is like, this is like an unwinnable phase. So, because you can see the bar's not even moving. Yes. He turns into a, a horrible creature. There we go. Ha! You can't touch me. Huh? Hurry! Attack him while I block his power! Don't cross me, conscience, or I'll beat you too! <laughs> we must both be destroyed. I changed his voice. <laughs> Alright, so now we can actually fight him for realsies.
Hmm. <laughs> I'll de I'll depixelate him fully at least once just so y'all can see what he looks like. That's an interesting character design. Like the fight is the fight is weird. But this whole this whole dungeon is just very trolly. Like everything about this area is extremely trolly, and I'm just I'm not a big fan of trolly shit in games. Like Make him strong, that's fine. Just don't make it trolly, you know? Don't make me feel like you're trying to waste my time. <laughs> I'm already wasting my time by playing a video game when I could be making myself a better person, learning a skill. Like, don't don't feel the need to, like, twist the knife by then making it feel like I'm not making any progress. <laughs> but shenanigans! We're doing, a, we're doing a holiday party at work next Friday. And we're doing it during working hours. And it's going to be the holiday shenaniganza. It's going to be fun. At least that's what we're required to, to say. And we're still going to have to work. It's just we're going to be doing like, we're going to be doing different things throughout the day. Like... Um, you know, we'll be playing, like, games and hanging out, and we're gonna have some food and stuff like that. Um, less of a party and more of just, like, a slack day for, for everyone. A leadership-approved slack day. Oh. No, I want you... Blue is useless. <laughs> enjoyable or you enjoy it? There's a lot of things that are enjoyable if you're into that shit. Like. God, he's pixelating! I mean, it seems like it could be enjoyable <laughs> if that's what you're into. Mo got mad. Show us your true form. Come on, Mo. Oh, there you go. That's the healing we all needed. Boom, baby. Oh. 
I'm trying to figure out what you were doing that you that you're like hovering over a cup of coffee with a raw egg. <laughs> Just like <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> I'm about to do a maneuver. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> ah, that'll do it. There you go. There you go, Philip. You're getting a getting a little look see at what what moat looks like now. Basically, he kind of looks like yeah, he really did. If you if you kind of squint a little bit, this is this is like uh, this is like some persona level monster design. Here, let's 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 put that away. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there are. On a certain website. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh oh. Available on Moat Hub. does that would actually be pretty freaking cool <laughs> it's like a weird com i mean it looks inappropriate but it's also like a weird combination between like a squid and a metroid i don't feel so good thank you i can rest now goodbye Defeated moat. Good work. Search the pillar for the key. And now we use the sky key. Can you imagine? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it happened to people. Like as soon as they got that key, they just cast exit and didn't realize they were supposed to use the sky key to turn off the tower, <laughs> so that the weather would go back to normal. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> that one little fly. Let's get him, guys. <laughs> Yeah, so we've so we've restored the normal the normal weather to the um, to the town of Spring, and that has thawed the um, the waterfall because there's a waterfall in the back of the town, and the townspeople were telling us there's a cave behind the waterfall that leads to Scandy, which is where we're trying to get. Um, yeah. So now that the now that the ice has been thawed, we. Um, can progress. We can also get another another great item. For the hero, which unfortunately we're never going to use, but at least I'll say where it is. You'll know where it is. Okay. The egg Fifi.
this girl is the one you want to talk to. Ba 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 splash. Ba 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 splash. Maybe that's not her. I was thinking that was her. There's somebody that tells you that like once a long time ago a hero a hero fell in the pond or something like that. Oh shit! I gotta go to the um. I gotta go to the uh, bank. Yeah. Right? And then it's like you get you get disappointed in a little at least for me, I'm disappointed and a little offended when there's not something behind the waterfall. I'm like, why did you even waste the time to put a waterfall here if you're not gonna hide something behind it? Jerks. <clears throat> Welcome in, goblin. It's like, do you even know how video games work? Are you new? Anyway. There we go. So you fish off the dock here. And you get the dragon armor. <laughs> okay. And the dragon armor is good armor. I mean, as you can see, it's not as good as the life armor. But it's good armor. It makes you faster. Gives you an up upgrade to your magic skill, which does nothing. Lots of... Def defense however what it doesn't do is absorb magic damage so we're gonna stick with the earth robe earth robe absorbs magic damage earth robe is better than all other armors end of story i would rather take a little more damage of one type to be completely immune to the other type given the choice I think I do need to hold on to it though. I think you need all the dragon pieces like in your inventory to um, to get into the final dragon palace. So we'll just stick that down there for now. Sky key can go down here. It can go down with the other children. Make it easy to steal from me later. And. The rod will go here. Worm will go here. We'll need those before too long. Okay. We need more marble ones. So we'll teleport to Gust real quick. Refill our marble ones. And then we'll continue on. No, thank you. <laughs> Ow. I've been sitting with my leg crossed. Ah, sorry. So what do we need? Six, and then, so we need 22. <clears throat> Not me, I like my stuff. There we go. I'll just give I'll give Vadoof a couple minutes to jam. back to it. <clears throat> it 
It depends. Can you physically feel it when you do it? Well, there you go. Then it's physical music. I've never heard you sing a song that I didn't enjoy. Also, we're coming up on a section. We were talking about not using um, not using Marble 3s, Vadoo. We're actually coming up on a section here where if you don't have Marble 3s, there is a very good chance you will just not be able to progress. Um, or you'll just get the shit kicked out of you. Like, really and truly. I'm about to show you this. It's amazing. Alright. We're also getting very close to where we can get Bo's best... Um, weapon we're gonna grab it on our way to the next tower okay so everybody's frozen in place except for this guy this is Carmen I returned a few days ago to find that time has stopped is this something to do with talk in the east could be The Marble 3 no longer works. <clears throat> Go Goblin, we we just went through the we just went through the basement of, of um, Spire and the Blaze X monsters were spamming that seizure inducing blast spell and then Nina and Blue were bouncing it back at them. <laughs> and it was horrible. It was so bad. <coughs> it was taking like three and four rounds to kill them. They were killing multiple party members, and then um, and then we'd get like 400 XP per person for the joy of victory. And you're dead. <coughs> <coughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> and then these things, which can insta-kill. As one does. Yep. Hello, Calrea. Yeah, that's true. That is one way to do it. <clears throat> oh, shit. If you're gonna go Shin, just go pure bow. 
bow's better anyway. <clears throat> Oh my god. Yeah, this is absolutely fun. Yeah. <laughs> Every four fucking feet, the same encounter over and over and over for all eternity. <laughs> no, but he's just, he's like better. Like he's a better character. When we did the last last time we played through this and we did the um we did the um no transformations run, Bo ended up being like the hero of the party because he's got he's got ridiculous attack power when he gets his best weapon. Um and the fact that he's got that he never gets better, but he's got that cura spell. If you ever get into a situation where you're worried that a boss is gonna like is gonna is gonna wipe a party member with a uh, AOE spell. He can very quickly jump to the front of the front of the turn order just for that, just to heal enough to keep them alive. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the wind bracelet. This is the one that I thought I was going to get last time, and then it turned out I was just a filthy casual. Um, there you go. She's already so slow, though. Hmm. So it's just the ladies that can wear it. I guess I'll put it on her. I don't know. Hmm. There we go. Whatever. And then I can put the skull ring on him and get his defense up a bit for no reason. Actually, no. Bo deserves something good. There. <laughs> there we go. You get the skull ring, Bo. You've earned it. So I think it's up here. There's a dragon mark on the ground. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Is this the one? I guess we're gonna find out. The hero bow. There we go. Okay, yeah. So this is this is the one that like broke bow as a character. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, Kale. Look at that shit. 300 attack power? Come on. You're playing a game with me right now, right? <laughs> and he's got more hit points than Ox <laughs> at this point. be able to just hotkey marble threes specifically just press the y button and a marble three explodes around me
<clears throat> All righty. So that's our little our little uh, educational bit about how the moving platforms work. You take a lie. I'm still not entirely sure how the calculation works for um, for Karn's stats in the um, in the fused forms. Like I tried to look it up, and people can't really seem to agree on how exactly it works. So I don't know if better gear on the characters used in the transformation translate to better stats for Karn. Or if it's just like a multiplication of of Karn's stats. Oh, don't do that. Thank you. But we don't know, we don't know if the stats of the individual characters used in the, in the, uh, fusion affects the stats of the fusion itself. We don't know. Oh, thanks for the free heal, sucker! Although I will, I will give you this, Junkbot. There is the added convenience factor with Shin. If you if you stick with Shin for the whole playthrough, um, you don't have to unfuse to get through forests and stuff like that. Like you, you are just good to go the whole way. Icy armor, so that's nice. The gang's all here. Hmm. I'll get like eight more chances to grab that treasure chest, so whatever. Just feels like there should be something there. Oh, dodged. So after Monday, I'm done with school until January 16th. So the question on everybody here's mind, Philip Schneider, is when you gonna be beating Rings of Power, brother? <laughs> Where them rings at?
I think it's pretty interesting. I mean, obviously, they Capcom reuses monster designs a lot, right? I mean, there's there's a monster in Little Nemo, the Dream Master, that reappears in um, Breath of Fire 2. <clears throat> but um, the Wraith X design is like... I don't know if it's the Wraith X color patter, pattern or if it's the Wraith color pattern, but that's actually the design they use for the Knight Rider, which is like one of one of the most dangerous enemies in Breath of Fire 2. Um, only thing worse would be like the King Slimes or Killer Slimes, whatever the K stands for. Um, hmm. <clears throat> So it's weird seeing them and being like, oh god, I'm screwed, and then like you're it's just you just hit them and they die. Um Well, so I gotta I gotta do my PowerPoint. I gotta get my presentation ready for class on Monday. And then basically the 21st is the last day of work for me this year. And nobody likes us, so nobody's gonna see us until like Christmas Eve. Nobody wants to see us before that. Um, so anytime in that little period, um, any evening that Calrea says I can that I'm not streaming really, um, I'll have a ton of time. I'll I'll get with you and I'll send you a message and figure it out. We also need to do our golf around game, and we need Vadoof in on that as well. We need some wholesome Vidoof golf around content. Please. And thank you. The guard shield. It's just worse. Ah! Okay, well, what if I do this? What if I give her the guard shield, even though it's a slight downgrade, so that I can give her the light shield, which is a massive upgrade? There we go. Just gotta move a few things around real quick. And... Are they weak against the ice? It might be. Oh lord, here we go. See, they, they give Karn all these all these hit points, but then they also give him really shitty defense, so it doesn't really matter. Like, it's like they they scaled the def the damage he takes along with his hit points. Okay, this is everybody's favorite room. I actually don't mind this room. This room isn't too bad. Um, you just gotta know where to start. <coughs> Get right. 75 experience points. Oh, it's because. Okay, yeah, they they give you they give you weaker enemies in this area. I think because. Um, they don't want you to get mad just going around in circles with this foolishness. An Agile hat. So that's one of the two free Agile hats that you get in the game. It's a very good hat. Makes you lot, a lot faster, like you would expect. I don't know if it's going to be an increase for anybody, though. Maybe for her. Yeah, everybody. I'll say everybody can wear one, so... Well, no, you still you still have to know how to get around, but like if you if you just run at it like a goober, then yeah, you're just going to get knocked around. The trick is like most of these tiles on the outer periphery will not let you into the puzzle. That's what I'm saying is like you got to know how to actually get into the puzzle to begin it. Is 
It's kind of weird that only only Bo can wear the wolf skin, which is like basically he's wearing the skin of one of his family members into battle. There we go. <sighs> and that's just the other staircase there. You've given me all kinds of trouble, but now it's over. Time is on my side. See for yourself. What do you think? I stopped time in the village. This is just the beginning. Soon it'll be like this all over the world. Ha! That'll show us. Who is that? Is that Alan? It can't be. Time and space have started to distort. Ryu and his companions are caught in the middle. So this, where you're just, you are now by yourself really far from town and you gotta get back on your own this is mean <laughs> do not approve <laughs> so that's like what 37 fights or one marble three <laughs> Ryu you're alive everyone is here it seems that Alan and Cyril know each other I heard they were childhood friends I think it's supposed to be Cheryl and they just couldn't they only have four, a four character limit for names Cheryl is a friend I know that she'll never help the dark dragons you know, people do change. I'm going to talk to find out what happened. Dies. It's not safe to go alone. We'll come with you. <clears throat> all, right, all right. So we got this, this. <laughs> Same to you, Philip. What is happening? Alright. This is the aura I want. Okay. Same to you, Philip. <laughs> While I'm over here. Need that later. Marvel 3 should be wearing off soon ish. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it'll last forever. The Eternal Marvel. There we go. So now, Puka. Mogu back in their back with the ghosts.
Buzzap. Buzzap. And we're going to have to go through this tower, I don't know, either one or two more times after this. This is kind of, it's like they got close to the end of the game and they realized they really had to, like, start padding the length a little bit. I don't know. It's like they, they started running out of ideas or something. I mean, this is cool. I like the I like the puzzle of it, but it's really just it's really just a time sink, which I guess is the whole point, right? It's the time key. You're wasting time. Yeah. I do have a theory, like outside outside the normal like oh we like to do references to our old games that ca that Capcom does I do have a theory that um, the reason you keep seeing the heroes from this game pop up in other games like hundreds of years later is because of all of the craziness that happened with the time key and it basically like messed up their aging because you can find Bo and Karn living on an island in Breath of Fire 2, um, you can actually meet Ryu and Nina in Breath of Fire 2. Deese lives forever. Uh, Gobi appears to be in every single game. Like, he's just immortal. And the only reason I say I'm pretty sure it's him and not, like, some other random fish is because he is literally the only fish man that in this game that has his body type and coloration so for there to just keep being one fish that looks exactly like him that always has the same kind of personality traits seems a little weird <clears throat> um yeah Cheryl it's you isn't it don't you remember the days that we were together yes I do I finally found you! Ha! Smack! Don't get sappy on me. My childhood memories are long lost. I've learned to be tough in order to survive. I'll destroy anyone in my way. Uh-oh. Listen here, chickadee. Oh, she quit. Time out. <laughs> you stop. Okay, so he can. Power up. No. It's it's interesting because if you look at the if you look at the character, I'm pretty sure the bottom half of her is just the pog sprite reused from the fight. Well, you wouldn't wreck the the two headed monster. Yeah, I just pulled it up. It is. It's so the bottom half of her body, they literally just took pog's sprite. And then they stuck a woman on top of it, and they slightly changed it. So instead of being, like, green and yellow, it's blue and yellow. <laughs> but then the top half is something else entirely.
I think it's supposed to be like coming out of the fur. I think like you're supposed to think like she's basically moving her torso. And the fur is like coming up to her torso. Listen, she's strong. She protect, okay? Be good to her. stronger than I thought, but you don't have a chance. Da, da, da. <laughs> I will advance time until they are gone. Will you let that happen? She's got us. We have to retreat. You're pretty smart for a fish. Now get out of here. Time and space have started to distort. Ryu and his companions are caught in the middle. It was a mistake to let you come here. You cannot break my seal of magic. The Cheryl closes her mind. The gates of the castle close. The gate won't open. Let's return to the village for now. Oh, well, I guess... Just, just, just me and Nina are going to go on a date now. We're going to go wander around. I wonder. I don't know. There's probably no secrets or anything. Like, if just the two of you start... Like, that would be interesting. If the two of you were to, like, go talk to people in other towns that you've, that you've helped, would they be like, Wait, what happened to your friends? That would, that would be funny. Where have you been? I was really worried. Controlling time and space? How about that? Don't that just beat all. Time has stopped, but these people are still aging in stillness. Ryu, Alan has been badly injured. How could she do this to a friend? I'm to be blamed. I'm responsible for what she is now. We spent our childhood together like brother and sister. The people decided to throw her out because she wasn't human. I couldn't stop them. <clears throat> you still care for her. If I had protected her, or left with her, she wouldn't be like this. If you want to get her, I'll help you. I haven't stopped thinking about her, but she'll never forgive me. It's worth a try. Do you remember anything that means a lot to her? She'll remember the fruit. There's a holiday tree in a southern coast village where we grew up. We spent a lot of time there, and she loved the fruit. She's in the South Castle. Let's get that fruit and go see her. I've already done it. I've already done it. that sweet scent it reminds me of the fruit Cheryl feels warmth in her heart you'll be able to open the gate now if you've come to defeat me I'll let you win 
I'm tired and I can't go on. <sighs> Bo shows the fruit. What kind of stun are you trying to pull? You remember this, don't you? Of course she does. She opened the gate for us. <clears throat> I hurt Alan badly. He won't forgive me. Take the time key with you. It's in the treasure chest. Did her outfit change colors? Wasn't she wearing blue before? She isn't going to listen. Let's go back with the key. We'll have to bring Alan here. You received the time key. Cheryl, you have betrayed us. Don't be stupid, Cheryl. We serve the Empire. I won't let them take the key. Run! I'll take care of him. It's my problem. Goodbye, Alan. Hurry, run! Bring the village back to the present time. Traitor! Gah. Cheryl! How did you get here? Through the power of Marble 3. Let me go! Alan, don't! As, she dis as Cheryl disappears, the castle fades away. I'm sorry, Alan. It's all because of this war. The war makes people crazy. Cheryl wanted us to bring time back to the present in the village. Let's go to Toph. Let me do it. And they show you that treasure chest. They're like, don't you want to come back one more time? No, no, you don't. It's a sword. It's the jade sword. It's not as good as what you've already got. Don't waste your time. Nina puts the time key in the machine. Time is returned to the present in Carmen. But shiny. <laughs> it's not shiny. It's crappy. It's garbo. <laughs> it's garbage. It's done. All I have to do is remove this key. It's stuck. Ah! Time and space have started to distort. Eh. This isn't right. Did I do it wrong? Ah! Nina has vanished. We have to find her. All of a sudden, like, just in this little chunk of the game, Gobi gets really invested in the well-being of the people around him. Your, your inventory space is too limited. You can't do that. There's not enough inventory. All right. So we got to talk to this creeper. I hear there's a famous doctor in Carmen. <clears throat> and... Talk to all these folks. Songs have different powers. This one heals wounds. Want to listen? Shush. You can save music in a bottle. Weep! And listen to it later. Traveling in time? Is that how she came here? It would be best for her to go with you, since you're her friends. She has amnesia. It will be difficult to bring her back. And this is the girl we already talked to. She gave us the love hat. Tila Faso. Okay. No double hats. Okay. Just to make sure we got the flag. Talk to this guy. And we'll save. 
this this section right here is why blue knows warp. Imagine having to walk all the way. Oh my god, that would be so. Oh, I almost wish they'd done it. They should have. They should have gone for it just to make it feel incredibly inconvenient to not have Nina, like make you have to walk all the way back to Carmen. Like go underwater, swim up, go through Gus, through Grammar, through Spring, through. <laughs> they should have made you do that. <laughs> Time for sippies. Welcome in, Yellow. How you doing, buddy? <sighs> I'm doing okay. I think we're gonna beat some Breath of Fire today. Having fun. Scandy is surrounded by the cursed red water. The fishing is good on that bridge. We need to consult a doctor. That doctor is famous. We do. Amnesia? That's easy. The tonic has always been effective. Tonic contains pufferfish, root, coconut, and white antler. It would be easy to make if I had the ingredients. So the only thing that we haven't picked up along the way is the pufferfish. <clears throat> and we just got a hint on how to get that. So the coconut, we got a coconut by having Ox punch a tree near the beach outside of Gant, like like where the, um, the the palm trees, which you can also get them from other palm trees. I guess you can get them from Tunlan as well. I don't know if I've tried before. I always just grab one near Gant. But, um, so that's where you get that. Um, <clears throat> can we even, okay. The root is dug up from one of those weird plants near Grammar, the, the mole village. White antlers you get from white deer, which we've seen like, what, one white deer this whole game. But we have picked up some white antlers along the way and treasure chests and things. Um, I feel sorry for anybody who goes into this not knowing they're going to need to have one. And then they use them all up. That would be terrible. Because then you would literally just be walking around fighting monsters, hoping for a rare spawn. But... There is a white antler underneath that barrel in the in the upstairs of the doctor's house, which we grabbed just a little while ago. Um, so they do kind of give you that freebie if you know where it is, but I have a feeling they more did that for the devs for playtesting purposes than out of kindness. Um, so, but yeah, we picked up one in Pog's Lair. We picked up one, a couple in Treasure Chests. Probably had a drop or two. So. <clears throat> and the... Oh, Cheryl, wait. I'll marry Alan when I grow up. Oh. Ghosts. Um. The game, you know, I always, I always do this where I buy, like, I bought all these acorns. I think back in when we were still in Aria, like in that part of the game. And look how many of them we've actually used. Like if you're if you're using marbles and you're you're kind of like using your noggin and your fights and stuff, you don't really have to use a lot of MP restoring items throughout the throughout the game. Um, so I don't know if I feel bad for people that use up all their white antlers at this point in the game. Because uh, there really shouldn't be many occasions when you run out of magic and felt the need to do that. But that's just me. I also use marble threes all the time, so I'm a coward. <clears throat> so we're going to fish off the pier here. Hopefully they will go for worms. And I don't need an urchin or something. There we go. There's our puffer fish. We've got the root. The root is a key item, so that's in our inventory. We've got a white antler. We've got the puffer fish. we got to get a coconut out of the bank, I think. I think I put it in the bank. So. And, of course, there isn't an item shop in this town, because why would there be? Damn it.
Why would there be? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> do, do, do. Nice. I, I'm drinking the cold leftover coffee from yesterday morning. So I might have to take a short siesta and go grab some new. A canut. We got it. <clears throat> so that's all the things we need. Right? Yep, white antler. Canut. Fish. Root. It's funny, when I started up, I was like, look, I'm the same level I was when I beat the game on my last playthrough. So I guess I'm over-leveled, and, <laughs> and I haven't gained a level since, because I've just <laughs> been spamming those, those Marvel 3s as fast as I can. Oh. I'm nothing if not consistent, right? I'm consistent in how I go about playing this game. <laughs> Twenty five thousand, jeez, oh. And the bronze armor. It's like it's like four o'clock where Vadoop in the afternoon where Vadoop is and it's been dark for over an hour, I think. So we got all the keys, right? Like we won. We can just go drop them in the volcano and we win. In theory. Search here. Okay. You take pass. <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> oh, 5 p.m. Do you have all of the ingredients? Wait here while I make the tonic. I think that's funny that the, the mysterious figure starts out giving you these very cryptic hints. And then there he's just like... And just drops the pass and then goes, Hey, ch it, it, check the ground right there. And just walks away. <laughs> He just he gave up all all attempts at seeming mysterious and is just like, yeah, here's the key. It just it makes me think of the um the bit in Skyrim, like the first time you go into Markarth in in Skyrim and you see the guy get murdered and then afterwards the guy comes up and he's like, here you go, sir. You dropped this piece of paper and you're like, what's this paper? This isn't mine. And he's like, no, I'm pretty sure I saw you drop it. You should probably read it just to make sure. <laughs> like, the, like it's got that, that kind of energy. Here's that thing you dropped. <laughs> Nina takes the tonic. Why are you staring at me, Ryu? What's your problem? Nina has recovered from amnesia. <clears throat> Do you know who I am? Don't be silly, Karn. She's back! She's back! Ne Blue is like climbing over the chairs. Or she's got her tail up on the dinner table right now talking to Nina. Because they didn't want to put her one square to the right. If they, see, this is something I wouldn't be. I wouldn't have been able to do that. My brain would not have let me let this happen. I would have moved that character one square to the right for specifically this this scene. What's the big fuss? I feel great and I can fly. Nina joins the party. And there we go. We got adult Nina. 
You could save music in a bottle. The hell are you doing, Francis? <laughs> That's actually a pretty good build, build voice. All right, so now we get to do another grand tour, right? Every single time you get a new party member, including the, the second time Nina joins you, you get to do a grand tour, and this is no exception. <laughs> um, we're going to do a grand tour, and we're going to get some more goodies, and it's going to be amazing. So now we can fly. And the first thing we're going to do, come right up here. And there's the dragon shield. And we've got the flame shield, but oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Let's see it. Oh, so close to 4 Hundo. So we got the Dragon Shield now. We're amazing. Flame Shield on him. And... Fly up here. Anything good, anything good behind here? Nope. No goodies. Ah, well. You need proper training to break the seal. Oh, wait, no. I want to leave. Hang on. There's one, one thing I want to get first. Hang on. So they won't let you in unless you have all the dragon gear. But before I do that, because I don't want to forget, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There is one other thing we need for the hero before we do that fight. We need to come over here to this little island. Not this little island. Where is it? Up a little bit. Where is it? There it is. Okay. And this is something you have to do. Eventually, you come here as part of the storyline. But you have to do this before that point. You have to come here early. And search behind this tower. And you get the Tri-Rang, which is the best Rang weapon nice little upgrade and it makes you way faster so just a flat upgrade from the dragon sword there we go yeah boy <clears throat> so I, I'm glad I remembered that while we're over here let's uh there's a couple other dig spots we got to get but we'll get this one real quick while we're here Well, I guess I got the... Yeah. Mogu is cursed. And I think it's it's interesting, because that other island where the Tri-Rang is, that's where you have to go to fight the, the giant slimes that are worth 9999 XP. And I have to believe that they put this... Or that at least part of the reason why they put this healing pool here was so that you could fight those slimes and then come back here and um, heal and then go back without having to like go to a town and use an inn and then come back like it's it's a quicker quicker route which is cool that is nice So we've got some potions to slap onto the hero. 
another sash. Oh, he's still not using a shield. Oh, because he can't use a shield. Ha! Ah! Never mind. There we go. Okay. Now we'll go do the uh, the test. Now we'll do it. <coughs> you need proper training to break the seal. And a melon. <laughs> Let's see what our normal damage is. 54 versus 44. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't want to, but I'm gonna use the bolt dragon for this one, guys. I'm just gonna just warn you that the the attack for this dragon is very flashy. So I'm gonna I just I want to kill this guy very quickly and continue on. Um, so just forgive me because there's gonna be probably about eight of these that we're gonna do. Oh, shit. He might kill me, actually. Holy cow. Um, this might be the, the end. Okay. Yeah, those first two hits don't seem to do too much to your bar, and then it, like all of a sudden it accelerates. the 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 actual health bar is not a good indicator of the percentage of your max health that you've lost from an attack. It it moves weirdly. Um. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, I fucked it up. I didn't use the marble. Fuck you, I don't need more training. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, I, did, I forgot to use the damn marble. <laughs> I literally sat there and stared at it. I'm like, okay, I can use the marble. I'll do enough damage to kill him. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, more flashy flash. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> you, sir, are a poop. Oh. That's gonna end up costing me like 10 k <laughs> in restore in, re in uh, refilling my um, my marbles. Oh, unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> now if we could just keep our shit together for just a moment, <laughs> I think he's going to end up living through this. Nope. Okay. Jeez. 
I don't know, man. <laughs> Your training is complete. I don't know, man. I don't know. Use your powers to restore peace to the world. So that's the Rudra dragon. Which is... This is the one that they showed off on the advertisements. Um, you actually get to see... I can remember... I can still remember from... from um, Nintendo Power. Reading the article. About this game coming soon. And they show you the Rudra dragon transformation in the materials and just waiting and waiting and waiting to unlock that and then you finally get it and you use it for like two seconds and then you're on to the next transformation so we got to do it at least once just to show it off boom baby that's badass Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bray. Oh. Chef's kiss. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that because you're never going to see that transformation <laughs> ever again. You'll never see it again because we're about to go get the ultimate power. And I guess I'll show you how you would figure this out. So there's one more well we haven't fished at, and it's this one. And if you fish here, <clears throat> a slab. Works. Oh, how do you use the... Oh, the question mark. It is written in an ancient language. Where the mystic water lies, the ultimate power sleeps. You can actually, you can actually check your, your stats on all this stuff. You never, you never see anybody doing it, but... Um, yeah. This item pulls this... Yeah, so you've got, you've got your little question mark thingy. So that's your hint. Where the mystic water lies, the ultimate power sleeps. Well, we found mystic water a really long time ago. We've had a jar of it in the bottom of our inventory ever since, just in case. So we're going back to the water cave. Yeah, I got lost. Oh, you know what? I should probably... Hang on. I saw something. Oh, he's already got one. Dang it. There. Just get rid of that item. <laughs> Just put it in his inventory. There you go. the bottom one. I can never remember. You'd think I've been here 50,000 times. So we come back here and now that we have the gills we can actually walk down under the water. Hey Quex, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Ryu, you've learned Agni. You must have assistance in order to use it. 
<laughs> very unceremonious. He's just like, there you go. Boom, baby. The mystic power will let you see the truth. I'm doing good. We now have the ultimate power. The ultimate, this battle station is the ultimate power in the universe. <laughs> and exit. Yeah, he's just like, thank God. Jeez. Thal drew straws, and, and he, he drew the shortest straw. And he's just been waiting down there. <laughs> Ever since. Poor guy. <clears throat> so I got one more dragon mark to dig up. It's an easily missable one. We're just kind of follow the coast. Not sure exactly where it is. It's near Scandy though, so I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Down here in the bottom corner. There we go. See, this is interesting to me because that little that little spot over there to the right with the um, with the candles looks like the spots that they would put the um, the transformation masters in. And I've always I've, I know I've said it many times before on playing through this, but I always felt like there was meant to be something here, and they just didn't put it there. Like there was going to be another transformation for Karn, or there was going to be something there and they were like yeah let's not use that space so so we picked up a bunch of really cool stuff um mist claws very good for mogu for what it's worth um an agile hat for karn lowers his defense but makes him a lot faster star shield none of this really matters because all that matters is the hero at this point. But. Ring. Log. He needs a new hat. Get that man a hat. And. Star shield. So who needs the star shield? I guess not him. He can't even. Oh, he can. Okay, the mist claw. He can. You can. It's just the digging claws. He can't. Okay. So there we go. More potions. And that's the other love hat. So. We got the love hat the first time we went to Toonland with uh, with Puka. We had the Puka transformation. We talked to the girl, and she's like, "Oh wow, I feel so inspired. Take a plant." And um, we we got the we got the um, the love hat there. That's the other love hat. But Nina's the only one that can use it, so this is just an extra one that we don't really need. Um, what we do need is more marble ones so we're gonna go back to gust we are single-handedly supporting gust um we're keeping gust on the map economically store okay so I don't need the slab I 
don't really need the dragon sword or the dragon armor. Don't need the rod anymore. <coughs> and we need six, four, six. So 16 to get our full stacks. Or well, nah, we really don't need any more, do we? Yeah, we don't need any more. We, we don't need any more marbles because Ryu's gonna be doing the heavy lifting from now on. So let's just jam out for a moment while we sell some stuff to make space in our inventory. And the love hat sells for 50 gold. It's not even really worth any money. Um, it's just an amazing item for Nina that there's two of. <laughs> if there's two in the game, you only you only can use one. Enjoy. Um, let's go top off our marble threes, and I'm actually gonna buy some cures. Believe it or not, I'm going to buy some cures. Um, we're going to start a stack of cures here. We need 8, 16, 18 marble threes. So we're going to go to Drogon. I'll... Thank you so much, Quex. We are, we're just, we're maneuvering. We're, we're positioning ourselves for a rapid dash to the end of the game now. <clears throat> you know, the doof. You made me think of this earlier. You were talking about your cassettes and your vinyls. Did you know that they actually put out um, vinyl albums for Breath of Fire 1 and 2? Like, maybe a year, year and a half ago? And you could still buy them on a couple of websites. And they look cool. They're like, they have really cool, really cool custom Breath of Fire art. And I think the the um, the actual vinyls are like red and blue or there or something like. But I think it's a I think it's a two two vinyl pack of Breath of Fire one and two, and they might even have some other music like Breath of Fire three, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> so I needed what 18 of these. And then I needed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. We are ready, y'all. We are ready for action. Get the hell out of my party. Oh my god, I can't get my order right. There we go. Ah. <clears throat> I don't have a vinyl player. I feel like if I if I got one, it would be a slippery slope for me. Um So I just don't engage with that. <laughs> I'm a collector. Like we were talking earlier, I like my things. I tend to I find something that I like and I have to have all of it, or as many of it as I can, which is why I have like 75 game advertisements in the closet and not on the wall because I don't want them to get messed up from like the sunlight hitting them and stuff like that. So like, I I have that kind of personality where I, I, I'm not really a hoarder, 
but when I find something that I really, really like, I go really over the top with it. And then I move on to the next thing. So... Ryu shows the past. I guess it's okay. Go ahead. It's old technology and the parts are not in the right place. A man from Spring climbed this tower a while ago. You can't go up now because of an equipment failure. It's the switch. I love that. It's the switch. Alright, so we gotta go back to Spring now. Yeah, it's so interesting. I guess because I guess because it the the method for making a vinyl is so different from how you would like vinyls were more affordable back when that was how most people listened to music because there was more infrastructure in place to make them, right? And now it's like you have to have like a niche company willing to make them and they don't have as much business, so they have to charge more and it's all hipsters that are buying them, so. So one of these people from Spring was a climber. There he is. Thank you for saving my husband. He'd like to pay you back. His only skill is that he's a very good climber. I climbed the Scandi Tower and brought the parts home. Here. They're broken. Ryu receives the broken parts. Parts can be fixed in Gant. Time to go see Mr. Fix-It. <laughs> you know, it'd be nice if Ox, who is a member of the Builders, could just fix shit for us, but... Yeah. Exactly, that's what, I, that's what I'm getting at. not here. <clears throat> I'll wake him up. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> he isn't completely awake, but you can talk to him. Ryu, what can I do for you today? What have you got? Let me take a look at it. Hands over the broken part. It's the broken parts of some device. I can fix them. You can rest while I work on them. He's like, what is this? I can fix it. The parts are completely fixed. There we go. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I don't even know where I would listen to that. Because we don't really have space for a setup like that. And usually, we're either out doing something, or we're watching TV, or I'm upstairs and Calray is downstairs. Like, there's not just like... There's not like a grooving pit in our house like they had in the houses built in the 60s and 70s, you know, like, um, I don't know. <clears throat> Ryu shows the past. The parts fit perfectly. Here we go, y'all. So my thing is, we have a party member that can turn into a giant bird. Why couldn't she just fly us to the top of the tower? I don't see any harpoon guns or anything, like, arming the, the parapets. So, so what exactly is the issue here?
Are you wondering why I'm here? You can get to Zog if you wish. Why am I letting you do this? You'll know soon. The Dragon Heart is a weapon in Tunland. It can destroy any dragon. Oh my god. Fucking asshole. Now we gotta go back down. Oh. Uh, Capcom! I was hoping it was optional. I couldn't remember. Uh, I tried so hard. I, I talked to the girl like three different times throughout the game trying to get her to give it to me. Yeah. <coughs> Capcom is wasting our time. The last two and a half hours, all we've done is go to the same tower like four times and walk in circles and go back and forth. They're like, they're like throwing everything they can at us to slow up the progress of the game. I mean, it is. I think the theory, the theory is that um, the Infinity Dungeon is actually Scandi. Like after, like at some point between the events of this game and the start of Breath of Fire Two, the whole city like got buried underground, and that when you get to the bottom of the Infinity Dungeon and all the dragons are living living in that ruined tower that that it's actually scandy you can save music in a bottle and listen to it later but where But where is it? Is it this girl right up here? Have I have I just been going to the wrong house this whole time? I have. I'm an idiot. It's my fault. A legendary weapon. I don't know about it, but I know a dragon song. Ryu is disturbed. The song is called The Dragon's Heart. If you like it, I'll put it in a bottle. Ryu is disturbed. <laughs> One HP. There we go. Oh wait, no, I actually need... No. <clears throat> All right. No more roadblocks, dog. My foot and your booty have a date with destiny. Just right in front of them, we just fuse into this horrifying monster. Let's show them the past. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to your boss. <laughs> now it looks like a real dragon boy. I just remembered. I forgot to put something up about Jankmas this um, this coming Friday. Hang on. I just realized that. Um, What is that going to be? The 22nd? So it's not this Friday, it's the next next Friday.
and think, think. I, I, I meant to put this up before I started. There we go. In living color. Boom. Truly worth the delay. <laughs> four people, four people left while I was doing that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, y'all are cold as ice. <laughs> like, oh shit, he's typing. <laughs> yeah, I, I stopped for a second to put the little message at the bottom of the screen and I come back and the viewers drop significantly. I was like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I'm having fun with y'all. It's cool. It's just funny to me to see that happen. Just be like, all right. <laughs> so, so several people here do not find me typing on my mechanical keyboard to be an an auditory experience that they enjoy. That is not ASMR for them. Speaking of ASMR, a little ASMR for all of y'all. Some pretty phenomenal ASMR if I'm not being too full of myself. Any secrets? No. <clears throat> so we saw this area earlier. We saw this little section when Jade's little followers were chatting with him. So how can we make this work? Oh. Icy Cane. I think the Icy Cane is actually a, a spell item as well. We'll test it. If even one person clicked that link, I'm happy. <laughs> Ryu drinks the clean water. So if I do this, does that affect the other floor? Hmm. Let's find out together. Or I guess I would have just taken this route, right? And then it would have been fine. Because I had to flip that other switch to get through. It does affect it. Okay. Ah, uh, that's too bad. The okay you asked for it doesn't appear. Oh, it's because, it's because there's no space between the period, I think. I think that's the issue. Hmm. This part always gets me. So what am I supposed to do? There's that switch, which it's, they're different floors, so it doesn't impact it. We come through here. <clears throat> this happens, right? <coughs> hmm. I think I need to reset this. Hang on. Please don't. Please don't make me have to climb the whole thing. Oh my god, I'm about to ride the elevator again, aren't I? Ah! Oh, I gotta ride the elevator again. No! <laughs> I was thinking it was just gonna put me at the door to the castle. Damn it. More elevator madness. <laughs> oh. 
I did it, I was like, wait, no, what am I? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. There you go, Badoo. I fixed it just for you. <laughs> You'll thank me later. And you said you wear a really nice headset headphones too, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Ronnie, right, calm down. It's not that serious. Oh, is that where I was supposed to be? I think I was supposed to be on that staircase. This is a dead end. Yep. What, are they all just sitting here and look at each other? Like, this is a weirdly laid out castle. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, wait, I need to test that, that cane real quick. Um. Hmm. And icy cane, there we go. <laughs> I'll try. I will try, just for you, Vadu. I'm gonna send you an auto-tuned version of it. How's that? So, <laughs> so the icy cane does a hundred damage, a hundred ice damage to all opponents. The trident does ninety-five damage to all opponents. So I guess we just toss the rage hammer and the flame rapier, right? And we're good. Power hat. Uh, how about a power nope? That is cursed. And I think the glove can only be worn by Bo, but it can also only be worn if he's using the dwarf bow. That's a really weirdly specific item. Like, there's there's one bow that you can get from the flea market uh, experience, if you want to call it that called the dwarf bow that is not nearly as good as the hero bow but it does let him wear a shield while he's using it um it's the only one-handed bow that i know of for him and then you could wear the glove which is a bow exclusive <clears throat> shield but yeah i don't know i feel like they they meant to make that like an exception for bow and they just messed it up because a glove like you should be able to wear a glove while you're shooting a shooting a bow and arrow. I think. The Marble Three no longer works. Yeah. So I lied. We're not we're not over leveled. We were exactly at the level we were supposed to be when we started this when we started this session. And this is the level we're gonna be at for the foreseeable future. <clears throat> we will not be gaining any more experience today. Maybe this is the spot where Jade was. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. And now we're gonna revert. We'll put Bo in because he's got a little more heft to him. 
Marble 3 no longer works. I'm surprised to see you here. You make the dragon family proud. It's good to have power. Don't you think so, Ryu? The world should be united, and one man should control it all. The world is mine. No one stands in my way. Now, I don't know if you guys, if anybody here was here when we did the No Transformation Challenge run. He beat our ass when we couldn't do the transformations. We finished this fight with seven dead party members, Karn in the red, and every single healing item gone. <laughs> it was the closest fight it could have possibly been. Everyone was dead but, but Karn. And he was unfused. Karn was unfused. Which is going to make this feel so good. <laughs> so, so good. This was horrible and the dragon the dragon heart interestingly enough the dragon heart does damage to two enemies zog and another dragon we're gonna fight in a little bit um no spoilers but the other dragon it actually drops them to exactly one hit point whereas with zog it just does a lot of damage to him but he can actually just keep fighting you. So it's not even like a guaranteed kill for him. It's more of a guaranteed death for your hero in this in this fight. He's trying, y'all. He's trying so hard. Missed. You missed? How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you. <clears throat> so the hey cleveland tom rating with nine viewers hello haiku hooligans how are you doing welcome in I am the phenomenal sir. The fame is taking over. The fame is taking over. I can feel it as we speak. Thank you so much for the fame. Shadow. <clears throat> I am the phenomenal sir. I am a variety streamer. I write haiku prompts sometimes for Tom when he's feeling generous and wants to bless us with his creativity. I play retro RPGs, survival games, a little bit of everything. Greatest games of the 80s, 90s, and today. Most notably, Rings of Power. And we just auto-battled our way through a fight with the Dark Dragon Emperor, Zog. He never stood a chance. As you guys were about to come in, I was getting ready to tell the Doof that the boss music was playing for Zog and not for me. <laughs> I underestimated you. You've beaten me, but not my dream. How are you doing, Tom? How did it go for you? What were you, you were just doing the haiku slam? How many haikus did you read today? Go, warrior, and rebuild the world for a new generation of dragons. Let's cast some light on the subject. Here we go. I like how he gives you those encouraging words like, Go. Go. Rebuild the world. And then, oh. Hang on. That was weird. He says, go, rebuild the world, and then drops you into a bottomless hole. Wake up, Ryu. Ryu, I'm so glad. I've heard about you, Sarah. Nice. You left to fight the Dark Dragons alone. You can put your mind at rest now that Zog is gone. 
Thank you all for helping Ryu. I knew that you would grow into a great warrior and destroy Zog. I've been looking forward to the day that we could celebrate together. Control yourself, Ox. I can't help it. I'm deeply touched. I'm so happy for you, Ryu. The world has been saved, just like the legend told us. Don't worry, guys. It's not over yet. So what key is that? We've already got all six goddess keys. What is that key? I need to know. I need to know what key that is. Huh. <sighs> There's still one problem. We must destroy the goddess keys. Ryu, give me the remaining keys. Ryu foolishly forgot that the legend states there are only six goddess keys and handed them over to Sarah. Ha! That was so easy! <coughs> what? Yeah. The key to her betrayal, more like. Here they are, Jade. You've done well, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to all of you for getting rid of Zog and finding the keys. Are you worried about your sister, Ryu? With my spell, I have total control over her. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> we will leave for Agua to release Tear. You will slowly waste away in this dungeon. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we just we just auto battled Zog with Agni. <laughs> Are you trying to get out too? Follow us. Yeah, we did it. We did exactly one Rudra transformation just to show it off, and then it was like, "All right, goodbye, friend. We'll see you again, never." <clears throat> Shh! Don't disturb the Master Digger. He needs to concentrate. We're running away from the Dark Dragons. Who are you? He destroyed the Emperor. We don't have to run away anymore. Cool. It's too noisy. I can't concentrate. Please be quiet while I'm digging. Yeah. Ready. We don't have to run. I'll let everyone know. Noise. We were digging up Obelisk. I don't know why I gave that guy so much bass in his voice just now. He's a great digger, but he has no sense of direction. So now we know where they're going. They're going to Agua, uh, which is the flying tower. And we'll catch up with them, maybe, right? We can save the world. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <clears throat> we excavated almost all of Obelisk. I'm a master digger. Since you defeated Zog, I don't have to be a part of their evil plans. Go us. Nothing. Big old goose egg. <clears throat> Jade is planning to go to Agua with a beautiful woman. <laughs> okay. And all the other soldiers are gone. He just stayed back to let me know. Alrighty. So now... And this is the point in the storyline when normally we would be getting the Icy Dagger, the Flame Shield, and the Life Armor for Ryu and Karn. But because we are pro gamers, 
or at the very least like to have the appearance of being pro gamers um we went and got them as soon as we got karn in the party right which was like i don't know 12 14 hours ago in the game um which definitely helped make the the fights in the midsection a lot easier um the life armor is like we talked about before the life armor is the best armor in the game the flame shield is one of the best shields in the game and the icy dagger is the second best dagger for Karn. It is the best dagger that you are guaranteed to get. Um, the dark dagger is RNG based. It's, it's a flea market find. And at this point, we can't even get it anymore. We've already passed by the point in the storyline when you were able to find that. So, <clears throat> yeah. But we cut through all of these locked doors with Karn. When we got up here, we took a left. I feel like the background color has changed. Maybe it's just because of the time of day it is. These four guys never stood a chance. <clears throat> Which reminds me... We have finally... Finally, at the very end of the game, we have reached the point where the flame rapier is no longer useful for um, for fighting enemies. Yeah, um, they were. They were. It was tough. I was actually. It was very, very lucky that I got to go first. Otherwise, they would have one shot at me. Totally. Um, I'll put this up here just to hold the spot. But, yeah, so we got the Flame Rapier. Again, that's something else we picked up when we first got Karn. We went back to Windland. We checked the Treasury. We got the Flame Rapier, and we could use that to cast a 90 damage single target spell. And only now have we reached the point where it's no longer useful in the final, like, I don't know, 90 minutes of the game. Smell you later, Zog. Yeah. Did somebody allow that? It got held, but it shouldn't have. It's, it's weird. It's not giving me the option to, to show it, Cleveland Tom. It's, Zog is a, an abbreviation for something with um, overtones. So, I don't know that they necessarily knew that when they were naming the character in the game. But stop him before he succeeds, Ryu. I won't let you interfere. I'll destroy you myself. Like she's she's going through some stuff right now. She's cheering me on and threatening me at the same time. You're too late. She has been released. All right. And at this point, you can no longer retrieve the tri-rang. So if you don't get the tri-rang before the tower opens up, you just miss out on it. But we already grabbed it, so we're good. I shall now meet Tyr. And now we are in the final stretch, y'all. Three boss fights between us and final victory. Also... A button switch puzzle or button press puzzle switch puzzle whatever the domino the domino is i think a female armor is it? yeah better agility worse defense than the love hat it's just worse in all ways um, interestingly enough, they have a glass domino that's not actually a particularly fantastic piece of gear in um, Breath of Fire 2 and 3. Probably 4 as well. <clears throat> I don't think any of the items we're going to find in here are, like, game-breakingly good, but free stuff is free. Power armor. Power armor? Fallout? Oh, shit, death. I don't even know who can wear this. Is it only the hero? 
It appears that nobody can wear power. Oh, she can wear it. Okay. Okay, so this is slightly better defensively, but the angle armor reflects magic, so we're not going to even consider that. The, the That's like the one thing we were able to get in our little bit of time with the flea market was the angled armor. Angled armor reflects magic, so... Yeah. It doesn't reflect it. it. You still take the damage, but then you cast the spell back at the enemy. So they hit you, you hit them. <clears throat> How am I having such a hard time with this? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Where'd you go? Don't know. the best armor against the censored enemy that would make sense yeah oh the angled armor yeah yeah that's why that's why i kept when when i was fighting those blazes when i first started and they were doing that weird pulsing light explosion that was i was saying was going to cause somebody to have a seizure um every time he cast that nina and blue were casting it back at him and that's why is because is because he was is because they both were reflecting it does he just never get armor again? Never really thought about that before. Does does Karn just stop getting armor at I think Karn just stops getting new armor at Prima and just never gets another armor again. That's weird. Yeah, this is all this is all stuff for the ladies. Gamer Instinct. Honestly, don't know why I'm even rolling with Karn in, in fusion form, because I'm not going to fight anything. I'm just going to keep using marbles, so... Might as well save myself the time now, and then later on I can go straight into normal dragon form. The trap guard. That's a that's a Karn thing. It's worse than the flames. Oh my god. Yeah, so Karn just stops getting gear. <laughs> He's just he got his thief clothes. He never gets anything ever again. That's the end. Uh, I feel like I'm supposed to leave that button the other way, but I I don't know. no longer works all right we only got only got a few more of these we're running out of repels oof. Oof. big oof energy all right, all right, all right. yeah I was I was right that that other side passage messes up the rotation, so you need to you need to flip it back to where it was, so that you can progress. Okay. At least I hope that's what the issue was.
flame dagger. One point less attack, two points more speed, one point more magic. Very close. Very, very close. Interesting that, that they give you the icy dagger as a as a hidden item at the entrance to this dungeon. And then the flame dagger here. Because elements aren't a thing. Like, weapons don't deal elemental damage like that. So it's weird that they would choose to set that up that way. The marble three no longer works. Crunch. The power of the shield blocked Ryu and the rest of the party. They received some damage. You'll never be able to penetrate the shield. You can only watch Jade march to world domination. Okay, I'll remove the shield. <laughs> She's... <laughs> they really didn't know how to write the dialogue for her to, like, portray that she's trying to fight Jade's, Jade's domination of her. Hurry, you must go. Ryu, Jade is using a spell to control my mind. Sometimes the spell breaks and I regain my senses. You should go. Yeah, yeah. The party received some damage. Look at this. Look at this mess. <laughs> I must say one last thing, Ryu. I know that you'll do whatever it takes to stop him. So if you had not like that yeah that that the party received some damage and then you go into this fight she'll just wipe your entire party and you'll have to do the whole dungeon again like what the hell capcom <laughs> y'all are dirty <laughs> All right y'all it's time for some good old fashioned mutually assured destruction This this fits because now it's like he's he's fallen to his knees with the crushing realization of what he's just done. His whole quest was to save his sister. <sighs> Brother, I'm finally free from Jade's control. Don't grieve over me. You did the right thing. What? Sarah if free from Jade's control. <laughs> oh, Sarah if free, y'all. She if free. And then the music changes. I was actually worried she was going to be faster than me, and that was why I had Nina do the attack as well. I was like, okay, so Nina can just stab her if, if all else fails. You take Stone Hat. Stone is stronger than iron, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. You can't wear it. Start getting really specific with their gear. Oh, it makes you slow. Oh, thank you. Gear doesn't matter anymore. This is tricky too. This is tricky too, y'all. Look at this. That's the only time, like, when we got that chest a little while ago in this tower, we had to go down and around the corner. Um, there was that little bit where we had to take like one step down and then over. That was like your that was like your learning opportunity. But this right here probably stumped some people. 
That's the only time they do that in any dungeon in this game. <laughs> so. Interesting. Pulling up a map. There we go. <clears throat> Just in case. <coughs> Just in case we need it. I'm pretty sure that if I had gone the other way, it would have been a much shorter trip. I feel like I remember this being a thing where it's like, if you go down, it's one of these types of things where it's like, if you go down, it's a very quick walk. Otherwise you go through the entire thing. Look at this mess. This is, this is Invi infinity dungeon, a beta mode right here. This is the beta testing for the infinity dungeon. Invisible walkways are about to come back. Somehow. Daddy Be Bezos, what you doing? There we go. Good morning, Chainsaw Bear. Strong pressure pushes the party down. Ryu, what took you so long? Did your sister give you a hard time? The goddess Tear has been released and she is mine. I am all powerful. He's making an earthquake in space. He really is all powerful. Wake up, Ryu. Don't leave. You're alive. Your sister asked me to take care of you in my dreams. When I woke up and walked outside, I found you. Aw. She is always protecting you. You're back. I'm so happy. Okay. You've been unconscious for three days. Your sister brought us here. She saved our lives. Okay. Nina, emergency! Oh, you're back, Ryu. <laughs> Jade has resurrected Obelisk. We must stop him. Everyone is waiting outside. Let's go. He's right. Let's go. How's tour my weekend? I didn't know that something so formidable was buried there. Uh, my weekend's going okay. It's still early. Fight for us and for the sake of your sister. We got, we're going to beat Breath of Fire this morning. And then going to have a little some something, something to eat. Going to work on my presentation for Monday. And then I'll be done with classes until next semester, which is January 16th. Um, tomorrow we're doing D&D &D with me and Kalrea and Megami Mori and a couple of other people. Megami will be joining us remotely. Um, but we, we got a pretty good setup now where we, we go down and we get, we go into the den and we all sit around the table and then we do a, we do a discord chat with Megami and that's how we play. The enemy is very powerful, Ryu. It doesn't look good for us. <clears throat> If there is any hope for the future, we are it. It's our responsibility. 
Let's go. Obelisk will move around. It's in Scandi right now. Nina can take us there at once. Or, and stick with me here, y'all. Is everyone ready? Let's stop Jade! For some reason, they felt the need to put Gobi in the party. Uh, so, what we could do instead of that is... We could buy more marbles. <laughs> we need more marble threes. 16 more marble threes. <clears throat> One day I'll do a no marble run of this. I promise. Yeah. I mean, we've beaten it a few times before. Um, oh, I thought you meant a breath of fire. I was like, yeah, I mean, I've beaten it before. Yeah, I don't know. I'm on the fence. Like, depending on how, like, he kind of nickel and dimed me on a couple of things, on a couple of my written assignments. And then we all did terribly on the midterm, and I think he's like trying to kind of recorrect, like correct now by by giving us better grades than maybe people deserve on some stuff. But I could conceivably get a B in this class, which I don't like. If I get a B in this class, it'll be the first B I've had in my master's program. And, like, the first one I've had since, like, I don't know, the first semester of junior year. That was, like, when I actually got serious about school. Um, <clears throat> so, it'll make me sad. But, hopefully, if I get it back, and, and the other thing is, he doesn't tell us what our, grade, what our grades are. He, we just, it gets reported, like, the final grade gets reported, and he emails you and says... I reported your grade, which means you can't really, like, debate with him over it. Um, so if it ends up being, like, just a point or two that makes the difference, like my final grade, then I'm probably going to fuss a little bit with the dean and be like, okay, <clears throat> let's get real here. Because there was some stuff that was the amount of points he took off. I feel like he took that amount off because I've been in his classes before, so he feels like I should know what he wants, but yeah, I hope so too. <coughs> I hope so too. I appreciate it. <clears throat> there is no entrance. We'll have to dig a hole in order to enter. And thus begins the last of the fetch quests. I can't dig here. Okay. So we gotta go to grammar and talk to the master digger. Be nice to my brother. Please look after Mogu. Okay, so he's not in here. This is all old ladies. Master Digger. Master. Master. An evil person could take over the world with Obelisk. You want to break into Obelisk? That's a tough one, even for a master. If I had the Iron Claw, I might be able to do it. Okay. And this is where they just gave up even pretending to give you hints. So he says, if I had the Iron Claw, I might be able to do it. And there might be somebody in this town. Let's see. Let me see before I talk shit. Remember me? I met you in Scandi. I can't believe you got rid of Zog. He was tough. I know you'll beat Jade just like you beat Zog. It's like my grandfather always said. Say, you're kind of quiet. Am I boring you? <clears throat> before, I, before I shit talk Capcom again, let's, uh... He never stops talking. He gives me a headache. 
Welcome to Calray as well. I don't think anybody in here gives you any other information about the Iron Claw. <coughs> I don't think. <clears throat> but what we got to do is there's the weapon collector, the guy that collects rare weapons over near Gant. We got to talk to him. So that's nothing. So we gotta talk to this lady. So the little island here. I collect all kinds of weapons. It's a hobby of mine. I'd like to share my hobby. Do you know any other weapon buffs? Yes. And we just go back and forth. I think, unless I've missed a flag somewhere. Someone who loves weapons like me? How intriguing. I have an idea. Will you take this list from my collection to her? She'll appreciate it. <laughs> Flexing on her. Like, ooh, look, here's all the weapons I've collected. <laughs> you take the list. You take an herb. Oh goody. Oh goody. You know what? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna make long eye contact with this guy while I throw his herbs on the ground. Get out of here. <clears throat> if you're interested, you can also take a look at the list. Sure. Hello. There are many weapons listed. Nice. Who would have thought? So, up. <clears throat> Another weapon buff? Maybe he'll recognize my weapon. Come get it and show it to the old man. Okay. A what's it? <laughs> Looks like a what's it. Could you find out what it's used for? <laughs> Looks like a what's it. What did you bring? Let me check it out. It's unique, but I don't think it's a weapon. Let me study it. I wrote about it in this letter. <laughs> so, what's the answer? It says it's not a weapon. It's a tool for the mole people. Well, if it's not a weapon, I'm not interested. Do me a favor and bring this to the old man. <clears throat> this is so silly. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back already? I have good news. I found that it was a tool for the mole people called the Iron Claw. A letter for me? Hmm... The Iron Claw? Go ahead and take it. So, tell me about this woman. Is she pretty? <laughs> and then I walked away and never spoke to either of them again. Pretty silently turns and walks away.
You found the Iron Claw. Good work. I'll show you how to use it, Mogu. Watch closely. It's like that. Got it? Here, you try it. How am I doing? No, no. All wrong. That's not it. I guess that's about right. Remember, it's old, so you'll only be able to use it once. <laughs> then how did you just show me that? <laughs> Little kid leapt in front of me. <laughs> just, no! You stay! I, you know, I talk a little bit of crap here and there, but honestly, I do love this game. I mean, is it a Final Fantasy? Is it Final Fantasy VI? No. It never will be and never was going to be. But, like, in their own way, this is this is just, like, a really solid procedural RPG, right? Like, this game really kind of, like, cemented what a JRPG was supposed to be for me. And I love the fact, like, I, I talk about it all the time. I love the fact that every time you get a new character, you can go back and access new areas. Like, every single character allows you to go back and re-explore old areas to get new stuff. And I love that. I love the fact that they keep pulling you back to earlier, earlier spots in the game. I love the fact that the characters all have a reason for being there not wild about the the dialogue there's not a lot of dialogue in this game some games <coughs> golden sun have too much dialogue this one doesn't have enough but <clears throat> you know so it's easy to kind of like be like oh what were they thinking with this stuff but like really and truly um i don't think capcom had ever made an rpg before i think they they the devs you know did some research, realized very quickly that they didn't want to make Final Fantasy. I mean, it's a solid little 20 hour game, right? Like it's, if you know where to go, if you know what to do, if you don't, there's a couple of spots you're gonna be casting around forever. Like like the, the Iron Claw thing. I mean, that was like a weird little five minute side quest. But if you don't know where to go, that's gonna add a lot of time to the game because you're gonna be going back and talking to everybody trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing, you know? Um, so, <clears throat> I like it. It's, it's wildly unbalanced. Like, we can, we can talk all we want about the marble threes and the grinding and the, 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 the simple fact of it is the game is wildly unbalanced in terms of the strength of your party members some of the party members are just absolute monsters some of them are dead on arrival when they come into a fight the bosses are all over the map in terms of what they can do the enemies there are enemies in dungeons that are stronger than bosses in the same dungeons like you know you you, you get into all sorts of weirdness but it's a good game if they were to re-release it and rebalance it, that would be awesome. I see the multiple stars popping up, and I can only assume Cosmic Code is here. Oh, there's only two. It's Calrea and Vidoof. Okay, never mind. I thought that, I thought that was my four sippies from Cosmic Code. <laughs> have a great have a great uh, rest of the day, Chainsaw Bear. Thanks for coming in. Hope you have a good one. I'm not going to let you interfere with Emperor Jade. I'll stop you if you try. <clears throat> I'm giving you a warning. Ignore my warning and face the consequences. Mega Man boss, your journey has come to an end. Accept your defeat. Listen, Bri. <laughs> Bri. <laughs> you are not prepared. 
bad. And that's his only attack. Is a, is just that little physical bop. So how's things? They definitely designed this game to be either incredibly challenging, like there's there's basically two avenues you can take. You cannot use marbles, and you cannot know about the the secret because imagine imagine well I mean you got to see it right like imagine not knowing about the Agni Dragon, not knowing about Karn's fusion because the game doesn't lead you to them. They're not required. You can miss those things. You guys got to see the ridiculousness that was the Jade boss fight if you don't transform. What, did it take me like an hour <laughs> to beat Jade? <laughs> um, so, there's, there's like, you can either take door number one and the game is murderously difficult or you could take door number two and essentially sleepwalk through the back five hours of it. And there's really no in-between. There's no like weird, like, there's no balanced approach to this game. It's either it's either impossible or it's impossible to lose. Um, I mean, I guess if he hits me 40 more times, I'll die, right? Well, no, I guess 32 more times, but he's about to get killed, so it doesn't matter. Like. I just noticed his eye color changed partway through that fight. I think his eye color, because it was red at first and then it was purple. Interesting. Never noticed that before. How did you beat me? This can't be. Oh, it be. Man, thank God I bought 54 acorns back in, <laughs> back in Tuntar, right? <laughs> so that I would have them forever. I think up is the way. Yeah. Up is the way. <clears throat> and this is just weird and creepy. So this is like the heart that we saw in the stone robot where you can activate it using the king key. And I wonder, does each of the goddess, is, is it supposed to be like, are you supposed to put two and two together and, and assume that each of these hearts is powered by one of the goddess keys and all six of them together makes obelisk like this unstoppable flying fortress a la Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana, like Breath of Fire, Secret of Mana, um, Crystalis. There was a lot of stuff in the in the like early '90s about flying fortresses that destroy the world. It's a recurring theme in Japanese RPGs. Secret? No. I am not familiar with that. What? Starhorn? Flamehorn? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, uh, maybe they mean hammer. I don't know. Here we go. One last secret awaits us, y'all. 
But first, we gotta beat Jade's booty. You've kept up with me in spite of the odds. Well done. If you switch to my side, I could give you a town or two. What do you say, Ryu? I mean, if I could have Drogon and Camlon, they already love me there. But no. That's too bad. <laughs> they ran out of ideas and just stuck some assets together for this fight. This was, I would have to go back and like rewatch the fight against him without transformations. I want to say that I had like, I think I had like 12 stacks of marble ones and 12 stacks of cures and I just fought him forever. <laughs> so because we are fused, um, Ryu's got the earth robe on, the, the robe that absorbs magic. And his physical attacks really don't do a lot of damage. And it's it's RNG based to a degree, I think. Like he either does like his physical attacks or his magic attacks. But you can pretty much just auto battle through this fight and he'll heal you back up with his magic occasionally, even though he's got a lot of HP. Um, you might end up using one cure for this whole fight. Um, Cause the spells don't heal you for much, like 50 health, okay, that's cool. But I mean, Basically, every cast he does negates two or three of his physical hits. But yeah, every one of these hits is a thousand damage. I want to say he's got like twenty-seven thousand hit points, and you're you're fighting him. You're fighting him normally. Oh my god, it's it was so bad. Ugh. And then right after that, we had to go fight uh, Tear. And I can't remember if I did I. Did I fight? I think I fought her true form without Agni just to see what it would be like and it was as bad as I thought it would be. I don't know. I have to go back and check that VOD. It's on the YouTube. Oh, it's a Ghibli movie. Okay. Well, you know, the Stone Robots, that's like a Studio Ghibli movie thing too, right? Like you have the um, Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind. They've got the giant stone robots that shoot the lasers. That's kind of like the stone robot here. Oh, okay. child he tried stupid testicles every time <laughs> that's actually a pretty good one for this fight <laughs> jade grinned fearlessly how can you tell he's smiling i don't want to know where the mouth is on that thing has been learned ha are you happy now that you've beaten me don't let it go to your head you didn't really defeat me it was my destiny to lose i knew it when i released the goddess enjoy meeting tear the goddess of destruction emperor sword you don't get to enjoy it as much as in um, as in Breath of Fire 2. You don't really get to have fun with it, but it is there. In all of its glory. Look at that. Oh, 
So I guess if you decide you want to leave now and go grind for levels, that then the Emperor Sword would be useful. If you can even leave now. 105 more than the tri rank. But, I mean, it's useless because... We're here. It's over. We're at the end. <laughs> Only tricky part here. <sighs> she does get a round to fight me. What do you want? Did you come here to have a wish granted? No. You didn't come for a wish? Then why are you here? Why do you have your sword out? Are you ready to fight? Alright, so she's not going to fight back in this part. So we can just auto battle. Slam attacks. Oh, he's getting stronger. <laughs> Bow is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Goblin Junkbot. I mean, yeah, Pukka is Pukka is strong because he's literally four party members combined. But let's be honest, like 70% of that power is coming from Bow. I haven't done anything. Don't hurt me. Do I just walk away? Uh, I'll do anything for you. Please be my friend. No. Why are you treating me like this? I'll do anything for you. No. Let's be friends. Ryu, use the magic of Agni. She'll reveal her true self. I am not. I've done nothing. She'll fool you with her innocent looks. She's evil, but she'll hide it. Don't be fooled. I think they mixed up the dialogue there, and Sarah was supposed to say she's evil, but she'll hide it, and then Tyr is supposed to say, I am not. I've done nothing. And I think they, I think they just mixed that up. So now she'll actually fight us. Um, which is fine. She's free to do so. <clears throat> sword hang on what does the emperor sword do i never realized that that's cool oh 180 to everything oh shit you can't challenge me to a fight you're only humans oh so if you go into agni form and deal any damage to her damn it i was gonna use a white antler and restore my mana before i hit her i'll destroy you all i don't believe this Okay, I messed myself up there. I was gonna be, I was gonna be really slick, and I was gonna, um, I was gonna restore my own mana before I hit her, so that I would be able to go straight into Agni again. But now she's gonna, she's gonna get a hit on me. Oof. So I'm gonna transform. I'm gonna see if I can, cause the other party members being lower in health, I think affects. I'm going to see if I can sneak that in there, and then they'll defend. Yeah, so she'll cast Recover, and then Ryu will transform. And from here on out, everything's coming up Millhouse. get excited y'all I think she's got about 28k on her second win we will probably have to heal at least once against her yeah. 
I was thinking this is going to take like six hours on the game. The last time I was, we were playing and I was like, well, we'll do like a five, five, six hour one and then we'll do another one next time. Yeah. I was wrong. <laughs> this is a pretty horrific final form but i do think it's it's a nice touch that you see this reflected in the the final boss for breath of fire 2 because the whole idea is he's supposed to be like an offspring of hers or something so i do like that his final form is like very similar thematically to this I don't know if that's... A, I might have just given everybody a spoiler. Sorry. Spoiler! He's not, like, an actual child of hers, but it's something where they say that, like, in, in like, extra materials and things, it's like, when the goddess was destroyed... And all of the demons were like sealed and sealed in the infinity dungeon. It was like her her wish for revenge and like her hatred, like all the dark emotions that were left in her after her defeat. Like what was left of the goddess was sealed in the infinity dungeon with all the other evil spirits. And then over hundreds of years it metamorphosed into um death heaven which is weird because she's back in breath of fire 3 like the goddess from breath of fire 1 and 3 are the same character and it's established that she's that she's blue's sister like her and blue are both are both like goddesses from some triad or something so it's kind of interesting that you don't really get that from this but <clears throat> i don't know The writers, the writers for uh, for Square Enix probably could have done a very good job making a more developed backstory and world for this setting. I think if Capcom had invested more time in the dialogue and the story part of this, it probably would have helped build things out more for the future, and it might have affected, you know, how the game was received long term. I mean, later on, they get they get really deep with it, but it's just, it's such a shame that you go from the very intricate plots of Breath of Fire 3, Breath of Fire 2, and you go back to this, and it's very, very, very bare bones. Like, they're like, all right, let's just get a game out, guys. These RPG things are doing really well in the market right now. Let's make one, you know? Like, that's kind of like, it kind of felt like they were just... They were just trying to make a game to get some market share. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was like it was like well, because I mean this this game had the the misfortune to come out in the same year as as Final Fantasy VI, I think. <clears throat> it was like if you look at if you look at um if you look at when the breath of fires were coming out versus when the square enix the big final fantasies were coming out they had a tendency to release their game around the same time and i think it was because they were trying to like get market share when there was high interest in the genre and then they would just forget about it and go back to making mega man and street fighter <laughs> and monster hunter that's all they do now is monster hunter and street fighter right 10 xp and 12 gold acquired you can't win, humans. This is only temporary. I shall return. Run! <laughs> well, that's good. I'm out of coffee. So. Perfect timing. <clears throat> Everything irritates you, Calvin. All the sound effects in my games irritate you. Yeah, Resident Evil. 
She's she's the dark 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 She hates repetitive sounds in video games, and I play so many video games with repetitive sounds. Between the smithing in Skyrim, the purchasing stuff in Rings of Power, like that's why she doesn't like by the usually by like the halfway point of a stream, she's turned the volume off entirely because she's so tired of hearing ding 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 ding. I'm proud of you, Ryu. You turned the tables on the goddess of destruction. You and your companions completed the mission of the legendary warriors. This is the beginning of a new legend. I have watched you succeed, so I have no regrets in leaving you. Wait! Goodbye, Ryu. You, are, you made me proud. You are a true warrior. <laughs> Dragon Lord's like, slow the... Stop it. Wait. You have done well. I'll remember that you saved the world. This is the beginning of a new legend. He's repeating himself. It's finally over. It's like, slow your roll, brother. It's about time. <laughs> I love he takes one step forward and the god of the dragons is just like, hold up. There's still much work for you. You must help those who lost much during the... You must help those who lost much during the war. I'm just, I'm a ruiner of the emotional moments of a video game. I can't, I can't, I can't see a, see a emotionally fraught moment in a game without saying something stupid. Can't we take a break? A real hero doesn't quit until the job is done. We're making history. We'll all be legends someday. That's right. Oh, don't forget, you still owe me money. Again with the money? Is he worthy of hero status? Let's go. Nina, we should return to the castle. The king is waiting. There's still a lot of work left to be done. Tell the king I'll return when I'm ready. All right. Let's see what everybody's getting up to now. Just break dancing now. <laughs> yeah. I was looking to see who we were going to raid after this. Bo's like, oh, okay. Later. He's like, the king's like, wait, what? She, she's like 10 years older than she was when she left. He's like, what happened? I just thought, I never thought about that before. Yeah, he's probably losing his mind when he sees his daughter and realizes that, like, on this adventure, she got thrust into a time portal and just lost a decade of her life. Like... <laughs> <clears throat> All right, y'all. And that was Breath of Fire. In spite of all my complaining and my laughing and my, my shit talking, still remains a good game. Still remains a game that I enjoy playing. 
every so often. Um, getting to go back to my childhood, back when I was a wee lad, just learning how RPGs worked. Spoiler, they work because you buy, buy the guide. Huzzah, huzzah. Uh, thank you for the huzzahs. Oh, Pixel Monster, there he is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but uh, love this game. It's going to be interesting. Uh, for those of you that, that have forgotten or weren't here before, um, the current plan is that next year we're going to try to beat all, all five of the... I almost said six and then had to like rip my own tongue out. We're going to try to beat all five of the Breath of Fire games in the series. We are going to be starting it up on February 10th, which is officially the start of the Chinese Year of the Dragon with a Day of the Dragon marathon where I am going to attempt to beat this entire game in one sitting. So we are going to do the entirety of Breath of Fire 1 in one go. It's going to be the Game Boy Advance version because I can dash in that one. Um, I may die, but if I do, I do it for a good cause. And then after that, we're going to jump into more Breath of Fire. And it's just going to essentially be... Breath of Fire every Saturday morning for the entirety of 2024. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching Breath of Fire with me because this is this is this is what we're doing. This is our life now. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we got more Earthbound on Tuesday. We might be beating the game. We may very well beat Bre Earthbound. Tuesday and then Thursday we've got a something 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 retro this is our, this is our life now unless you just don't show up and then you're fine I guess but um, <laughs> but yeah um, so we're gonna probably beat birth earthbound I have not done any more grinding for the sort of kings I didn't even think about it Thursday I don't know what we're gonna do and then between now and the end of the year, it's kind of just fun time. So if anybody's been hoarding hoarding channel points and they would like for me to play something on the rank one listings, um, now's your chance. You can get me to do an episode. I would not suggest doing any bring back a mega classics because there's probably not enough time to beat most of those games. But if any of that retro stuff on the list appeals to you, this is a great time because as I'm finishing games, I'm going to be winding down and not really having a plan between now and next year. Um, because January, the start of January will be the start of our three-year anniversary celebration. Um, January 30th will be three years I've been streaming on Twitch. So all month in the month of January, we're going to be playing the games that um, kind of got me started. Lots of Rings of Power. Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot, stuff like that. Lego Indiana Jones, some Battle Zone 2. So yeah, um, it's been fun, everybody. This was Breath of Fire. There's gonna be more Breath of Fire coming in the future, but for now, we're gonna go raid Hesh Ballantine. He's playing something for DOS Ember. I like the DOS games. I like DOS Ember, but I don't have any personal experience in playing them, so. I feel like they would frustrate me if I tried to pick them up now, like 40 years later. So I live vicariously through people like Hesh and Duke Donuts to a lesser degree. Um, mostly Hesh. Um, yeah. So he's playing something. I don't know what it is, but it looks it looks pretty janky. Um, but we're going to go hang out with him for a bit. So... All right, so thank you, everybody, one last time for being here. I hope you had fun, because I know I did. I've already told you where I'm going to be and when I'm going to be back. So what else is there to say? But until next time, stay healthy, stay safe out there, y'all. Later. Later.